What's a pirate's favourite shooter game? Arr type. Let's take a look at it. There are shoot 'em ups and then there's R type. It was a hard game back when I was growing up, and the sequels it has spawned over the years have not diminished that difficulty level. They are all challenging games, they don't give you an easy ride at all, which makes them a lot of fun to play. R-Type Final was supposed to be the final game in the series, hence the name. As it turned out, it wasn't the last one because a PSP game, R-Type Tactics, came out in 2007, and there's now an R-Type Final 2 Kickstarter, so that puts an end to that I suppose. It also means now is the perfect time to take another look at and review R-Type Final on the PlayStation 2. This one is one of those good old 2.5D games, retaining the original visual style of the first R-Type by presenting the game in a mostly horizontal scrolling manner, but using 3D graphics to give the game a more updated feel. It works really well, and I'm very impressed by the visual style of the game. When I first played it, I was blown away by how pretty it all looks. It's a delight to watch as well as to play. When playing, you've got fluid controls that don't seem to lag at all, which is very important in a fast-paced game like this. Given the setup I use to capture the footage for these reviews, I'm always worried that there will be some degree of lag, because the signal from the console is going through a video capture system before being displayed on my computer screen. But if there's any visual lag going on in this game, I'm not seeing it. In r Final, I press a button and it responds instantly. It's great. Unfortunately, that means the problem with how I'm doing in this game is down to me. I've been playing side-scrolling shoot-em-ups since the 80s, and most of the time I can get really far into a game if not completed altogether. But not so with R-Type Final, it keeps kicking my ass and expecting me to beg for more. It's a hard game, really, really hard in some places. But it's also a lot of fun. The enemies are visually interesting, and their attack patterns are mostly simple enough to work out, which makes them relatively easy to dispatch. There's also a strong risk versus reward system in play, because a lot of the power-ups will be situated exactly where enemy fire will pass, so you have to keep your wits about you if you want to upgrade your ship for the battles ahead. And you do want to upgrade your ship. You're not going to get through the harder enemies if you haven't got upgrades. Even charging your weapons to full power before firing won't take out the biggest of baddies in time, so grab those upgrades where you can and keep firing, it's the only way. Upgrading your ship isn't the only thing you can do to change up how the game plays however. There are also other ships to unlock. Some of these get unlocked as you progress through the game, while others require you to go through the R Museum and try out its various branching paths. If you want to unlock all the ships, you'll be here for a while as well because there are 101 of them in total, so good luck with that. The different ships have different weapon styles and appearances, some of them being redesigns of ships from older R-Type games, which is a nice nod to the franchise's past, and it's especially fitting for what was intended to be the last game in the series. It makes me wonder what they'll do to top that in the sequel, or whether they'll try to top it at all. I hope they do. All in all, R-Type Final is one of those games that will keep you going for a long time. Whether it's because you want to unlock as many ships as you can, or simply because you just have to keep coming back to see if you can progress that little bit further in the game, R-Type Final has something for everyone. Providing you're a fan of side-scrolling shooters, of course. If you're not, I would look elsewhere. But for those of us who really love this stuff, this is one of, if not the, best example of the genre. If you get a chance to play it, go for it. Then go again, because the game has kicked your ass, and you need to settle the score. So there we have it, R-Type Final, one of the best side-scrolling shooters that I've played ever, to be honest with you. You keep coming back to it, it doesn't matter how many times you die, and thankfully, even if you do die, you'll have saved your progress at certain points, so you don't have to start right back from the start of the game. So it will be one of those that you come back to, even if you die, which is great, because you will want to. It's a fantastic game. I can't recommend it highly enough. If you get a chance to play this game, do it. Whether you're playing on the DualShock 2 controller or you've got an arcade stick or whatever, it's perfect the way it is. 
Give it a try. You'll have a lot of fun. Okay, that's really all we've got time for today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you did like this. And if you did, remember to click that like button, share it with your friends that they'll know a good game when they see it. And do subscribe for future videos because there will be more in the future. But until next time, I've been Zoe Kirk Robinson. You've been watching Game Hammer Daily. And I'll see you tomorrow. If you liked today's video, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.